poop from the inside. And I tell people all the time, that's why I don't trust them, because they're sharp. And that is proof right there. It cut it off right there. So. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Gotta fight. Gotta fight. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team See, I like it when just my thumb is too wide. You know? Mm. Yeah, I heard rumor that they're coming out with uh, HXW's deal with MC Cast. And it's the, that's the story so far. I already placed an order for HXW Raptor MC, red, purple, green. Yeah, I think I've done that, those three. But. They did not say it was not coming out when I did. They did not say, but they don't. But they haven't gotten them in yet. So I'm downloading this rail right now just to ensure that it was pulled up properly. However, I ran into a bit of a problem, and that was what you saw at the very beginning of the video. Ooh, man, that line popped right off. What's that? It just went Because you had it, whoever had it tied it to that little hole deal, what well, cut it off. Yeah, look. The, there's there's the leftover yeah, piece. Yeah. Piece. Yep. <laughs> the the loop from the inside. And I tell people all the time that's why I don't trust them because they're sharp. And that is proof right there. It cut it off right there. So. Yep. Let's see. All right. Okay. So. That's a nice herring drain. Yep. It goes goes very very awesome with all the rest of it. <laughs> I know, but I'd have to kill you if I told you. <laughs> I'm just on my phone, but Dad take her priority. Yeah, yeah. Well, now you know another way to make some money without even having to work hard for it. Yeah, because I've seen so many Dude, make, make the phone call, bro. Just walk away and make the phone call, dude. Seriously. Because oh, you know what? It, it's, it's guys like them that are ruining it for the rest of us, man. You know, they're, they're, yeah. they're out there poaching these fish, and then, you know, soon we'll have closed down uh, um, fishing, you know, windows that are prime time. Why? Because these morons didn't know how to act, you know. They're doing the wrong thing when they think nobody's looking, and there's plenty of us looking, man, you know. Yeah. Just people always look. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, we found out one guy, what he would do is he'd catch all the drum up here, then he'd go down to the valley and go sell them. And That's he was, even worse. Yeah. Because he got no license, it's a commercial license. Yep. And they were all oversized, all of them, all of them 40 inch plus. So. Wow. Ridiculous. Yep. Petey. Right, so, he's got a real small spool on here. Yeah. It, it's, it's wide, but why? I'm thinking it's the size of an SX. So if we do 40. if we do 65, he's only going to get like 200 yards and then like 80 yards of that. He's going to be casting out more than that. 40. So now that I see your spool, I'm thinking it's the size of a, you know an SX Raptor. So your best bet would go over like 40, maybe 30. So you get line capacity. Okay. And even then too, what I can do to help out a little bit more, because I see the lines. 
-hmm. I can go first line right here to 30, with okay. 30 pound to increase it. And then from the second one to the, the third, oh, you go, to 40. Go, go to like 50 or, or 40, yeah, yeah, something like that. Just step yeah, it up a little bit more. Up, so so okay. that way, once you get over that 100 yard cast, you yep. still have fightability where you can stop big fish. Oh yeah, well that's fine then do that. So, um, and it'll be a little. That and it, it'll give you a, a visual a visual <laughs> idea. Oh yeah. No, because no. those lines are hard to see. They're not a different color. You yeah, literally no. have to concentrate to see them. And this will give you, uh, you know, a visual confirmation. Okay, hey, I've got X amount of yards left. I got to yeah. really start playing this fish. You know what I mean? Oh, well, I can see if I can cast over 50 yards. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I was like, man, where's my lighter? Huh. Yeah. So I saw I looked at those meat hunter rods. They're all right. Um, they're just they're real flexible. Real flexible, flexible, right? I need, I need a strong backbone. Those, uh, check this out. This is a, well, I love my jaw bones. But, this is a, he'll still say it's not the same. Is it a 553? Nope. No, they don't. But, they still load up. I mean, they still load up. Yeah, I'm not taking that away from them. It's just. What's on mine? It's 52 or 53. Oh, boy, yeah. I was loading it up. Looks like Remember that one? I put that in my profile too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you were casting over the channel. Yeah. Thumb it. Mm-hmm. Thumb it. <laughs> it's still out there, but yeah, I, I, I'm trying to retrain myself to. But then when I go to the HXW, I have to use a thumb. Yeah. yeah. The, that you get. You have to remember which one you're throwing. Yeah. yeah. And I'm trying. My brain's like, "What are you doing, bro?" <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Like we were having that casting contest that I was telling you. Mm -hmm. So you know what, dude? The guys are throwing it out there. Ready to go. And I went like this. And I went like this. I held the rod like this. <laughs> and it went as far. And I didn't put no effort, bro. Mm -hmm. And it, went, it still beat them. They were putting all their momentum into it. Yeah. I said, bro, I'm not even trying. I said, let me try. And the, I, I beat them by like 10 feet. Mm -hmm. I said, well, let me get out right here. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I could develop that swing, like you do, mm -hmm. but I'm, I, I, I try not to go crooked. Yeah, it's, it's learning the, the pitch of that, the, you know, when you swing it back behind you. Like this, he goes, he just dips it, it comes up, and then mm -hmm. he goes, everyone does this, like my body swing, swing. It's like Nick, Nick, Nick swing is such a long line up behind the much. Every time I shoot along that, it hits the ground. Sure. Yeah, you got you got to learn how to keep that weight up off, yeah. the, off the ground. For sure. And see, I used to what I used to do. I bring the leader up to the tip and then throw. Oh, well, now I drop it like three feet. Yeah. And then I cast it. I bring mine to the last eye. To the, to the last eye. Technically, you should drop it to the length of your reel, but yeah. Yep, yeah, I, 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 I got. I learned that from Nick. The breakaway. Yeah, I'm almost up real. I can get much higher. Last time. This still got me better to go fast because I got. I started going six feet. So now I have a little bit of a tip. I drop it to get up there. Yeah. And that's what improved my cast. Remember, I remember out over there at uh, at uh, Indian Point where I was teaching everybody how to cast. That was pretty cool. I don't think the city's out on Sunday, right? No. But the city no, just think of it like this. You're you're not only pleasing them, you're pleasing mama because she'll see you did something and it's always important important, you know.
Materialistic or fantastic? Ooh, right at right at there. Nice. Two hundred yards at the oh, at the first know. line. Yeah. Okay. So I was like, I what would be more important? Oh. Yeah, I had to. That's why I get rid of my leg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the wide one you're coming up to here. Yeah, that's the narrow one. Going up to 65. Just to check. See how we do here. Just like the jigging reels, we said jigging. They're this even thinner, yeah. You can barely fit there. Seventy-five yards. Put a shock top on it. Or yeah. Put an eighty pound on top. Speaking of shock top, that's good beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, huh, Luke? You want red, white? Uh, hell, red. Red. And the problem is, you can't swap the handles. You have to buy the left or right. Well, they're sealed. They're, yeah. they're, they're good reels. They're, they're good reels. But they also say that they, uh, and some of them just don't cast for sure. You don't know which ones to buy. I ain't even spending as much money on them spinning reels. <laughs> I can't throw spinning reels. I mean, I can throw them, but I'm so nervous because one day, I have a BG 5,500 mm -hmm. dial. I forgot to tighten the spool, and I was leaning in like this, I had a spoon. Going like this, it grabbed the rock, and I went like all momentum, and it cut me uh -oh. through the crease all the way deep. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, I dropped the rod, I was like, dude, just ripped, I mean, just mm -hmm. draining. So I had, I had a rag, and I wiped it, I had fish cut in there, but I wiped it, tied it up, and then I couldn't bend my finger every time I open it, it would just split it open every time. <laughs> so then I tried casting like this, don't work. No, no. I, I tried to hold it like that and throw it. I tried those little bait cans too. Yeah. Can't use them either. No. I just buy the glove. I fish with the little glove. I end up, buy, I end up getting the bionic, or the, they call it bionic finger, but it's the cannons. Where you, you hold, it's a trigger. I can use it. You open it, well the thing yeah. is, it's, it's not natural. Yeah, it's, it's, I talked to Nick, and he I said, for, "Forget to let go." When you lean like this, go. as soon as it points to the sun, uh -huh. you let it go. Okay. It takes practice. Once you get the hang of it, yeah, because I would shoot it. I was like, well, I spot the glove. I put a glove. It's got a yeah. one finger glove. I, I got so scared of spinning a piece of leather pad on the inside. Cause it just... Nah, I, I I finally got the hang of the cannon, and it makes <laughs> a big difference now. It, it, Is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, dude, you can throw it ten times farther. Yeah. But you just gotta learn the angle. Once you learn that angle and to let it go, it makes a big difference. Yeah, because it was so unnatural. Yeah, because you don't feel it. Yeah. Oh, did you see the knots, like his places? Did I see them? Oh, I know yeah, how you do them. I can't, I can't figure out how to do them, yeah. No, I just wanted you to see them so oh. you see that you don't have that big old oh, I know. clumpy yeah. thing on there anymore. Oh, yeah. I love those things. Yeah, that's yeah. how my other one is. Mm -hmm. That other spool, that one, that one, that, that LX, after I got on that one, it's been spooled up for shit over a year now. I finally got rid of the loop that's put on the end of And that, that's one of the things that I'm leaving in the videos when I'm doing all this fishing, is you can see the reels. I'm using the same reels for pretty much all of this, the fishing trip just to show the amount of usage and casting and fishing and 
like fishing the line, you know, because yeah. all these guys, oh, this is the best line on the market, and this and that, and this and that. At the end of the day, though, how often are they really changing out that line? Don't. You don't know that. Like I'm showing you, and that's why I'm doing yeah. the cast where you can see the line. Oh, yeah. And you're getting you okay. That reel has a splice here, or yeah. that reel doesn't. You can't see the splice, and oh, you know yeah. what I mean. It, it it's all for that knowledge of okay. This is what you're buying when you get this line. It ain't you just on every fifty yards, different colors. Huh? <laughs> why why fifty yards? <laughs> I just want to know how far I'm out. <laughs> but I want like. Ten different colors. Yeah, yeah. You don't even have that much line on your reel. Like that depth hunter. Yeah. <laughs> that's a joke, bro. That that's strictly for offshore fishing. Yeah. For dropping. <laughs> yeah, for dropping when, when they need to I know. Mean, you want to be legit? On to get your offshore, you pull out about a good three foot leg drop. You pull out. Yeah. Let drop, let pull out. So estimate like six. And oh yeah. And then, then you're about that depth. That's kind of your cheater way. Instead of just dropping in and, and counting, kind of counting. Like, uh, <laughs> it's just you pull out, let go, pull out, let go, pull, and then you're kind of in that depth where the fish yeah. are. The only bad thing about that one is, uh, on the way down, trigger fish are jacking your bait up. Yeah, it's just dropping slowly. The bait are. Oh, yeah. You know how fast? You I've, been going fast. On a, I've been going on a drop like this. Those are so sh and then like that, they pick it up as it's dropping. Yep. You liking the jet skis? Yeah, but I'm going to have to get some work done on them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shoot, they're talking the oil changes alone are $400 a piece. That's all right, man. Hey, it's a boat. They say about boats, right? Mm -hmm. Must another thousand. Yeah, I know, right? That didn't begun nothing. I moved here in March of 2020. COVID hit. Barely get the fish to fear. Hurricane hits next year. Takes it out. Dude, Shit. it's so great over there. <laughs> so I'm like, damn. <laughs> I fished on about three times. This is the other thing. I remember when I first went to Bob Hall. I had these eight foot Emily sticks, pins. I walked to the end. First thing they said, hey man, what are you doing over here? He goes, this is for shark fishing. Yeah. <laughs> shark fishing.